Hey guys, welcome back. Drip Coach here with Drip and Farm for Poverty Where We Don't Trust. We verify and operate with integrity and transparency. Today we're diving into a fun topic. Bitcoin predictions or Bitcoin price predictions. Where do I see the market going? But more importantly, what are the soothsayers and the gurus saying? So stay tuned. Right. So it doesn't take much research to come into YouTube, type Bitcoin prediction, Bitcoin price prediction, and watch a couple of videos. The TLDR is that nobody knows. We're all just guessing. There is literally no clue because the one thing you can know for certain is that when everyone believes something will happen, Bitcoin will happily surprise you with something else. So the recent news, seeing the shorts being liquidated, I think like almost a uh, hundred million in shorts got liquidated because the bounce back above 60. So nobody saw that coming, but that was all on the heels of what took place at the pre presidential rally, the Trump rally. So we never know. But in the long run, we do know that the math, the engineering prowess behind Bitcoin is designed to hedge against inflation. And we know that inflation is just the debasement of currency, the printing and printing and printing of more and every country's currency for that matter. So when that is uh, put against Bitcoin, then Bitcoin basically has an infinite price value pegged against that. But uh, my favorite thesis comes from Rao Powell. His everything code is saying that this market cap will go to 100 trillion in total by the year 2030. So that's like a 50x from these current prices. And 50% of that belongs to Bitcoin. So we can expect to see some pretty decent bullish um, prices as we see here on Coin DCX. They say 2024, looking at 75 to 78,000. That's definitely within the cards in my opinion. We just barely missed 75 already and we haven't even gotten to the cowbell as Rob Powell calls it. And then by 2025, we're seeing the where we hit the peak of Bitcoin for this bull run. So I definitely believe this to be uh, probably possible. Now, 100,000 is a, a, what would you call that? A um, psychological or mental barrier for asset prices, especially within Bitcoin, because we've never gotten to that. And that's a even number that a lot of people be looking to take profits on. So I could see us hitting that and then bouncing down, breaking through to liquidate people who are shorting it at that a area and coming back down, like all sorts of stuff, who knows? But I do see that being in the cards. Another cool tool out there is uh, Binance's price prediction, Bitcoin price prediction tool, which basically allows people to come in here and put in the calculation prediction of the percent they think it's gonna go up. And then it'll give you an analysis on that of what it looks like. So with the 20%, which I got from the um, average of all these prices here, all these people's speculations, 20% is about the average. And that puts Bitcoin at 172,000 by 2030. So still not far off from, it's a little lower than what uh, Coin DCX said, but still kind of trending in the same direction. The absolute lowest people said was, uh, was there a 5% in here? Yeah, 5%. So that's just people's sentiment. So take that with a grain of salt. Uh, we got coinpedia.org. They've given a, by 2030, almost $350,000. And by 2024, the end of 2024, uh, 120K. So again, that 100K is a level that a lot of people are looking at. Same thing over on Crypto Potato. Um, looking at prices, 90,000 to 100,000 before year in. So... The point of this is that nobody knows, but I do believe we will see this. So I'm kind of, I'm going to side with the bullish folk and assume that we will see 100K before the year end. We should have saw in the last cycle, but that stunted top, the COVID stimulus, all that other stuff came into a head and then it went back down. 
So now that we've already, for the first time in history, seen Bitcoin break previous all-time highs before the halving, um, I think it's in the cards, especially, as Rob Powell says, if the cowbell starts ringing at the end of the year like it always has since 2008, and that's the only way to refinance the debt, then it seems like it would likely push to that level. Now, what I like uh, from Greg Foss, he put up this uh, tweet about two weeks ago on the week so called it tweets and son X. Yeah, I like tweet and Twitter still anyway, uh, where he was talking about the opportunity that was available to him back when Microsoft launched. So in this post, I'm not going to read the whole post, but he's talking about um, he saw Microsoft kind of coming into its own right back in 1992, and it was about $2 a share. And then fast forward now to his $450. And he's saying 30 years later, it's 225% higher, 225 X higher. Bitcoin is the same position today as Microsoft in 1992. That is crazy. And even though it's at 60 K right now, and of course, um, a couple years back, you could have got it for pennies on the dollar. That is still one epic um, growth potential to see in anything, an asset you're purchasing. So I would argue it will be done. Well, we've already seen 225 X in Bitcoin in less time than what it took Microsoft because Bitcoin has been around for just over 12 years. And um, you could have bought it in 2010 for 10 cents. <laughs> so a gain of 2,160%. Um, then a, I don't know what these other gains are here because it's not actually written in percentages, but clearly much higher than 225 because um, we're already sitting at, well, we're at 74K earlier this year. So he's Greg Voss is still saying that even buying now at the 60K range, if it's the exact same, you would see a 13 and a half million dollar Bitcoin price. <laughs> that sounds ludicrous, but um, this was in 30 years with Microsoft. And I would assume another 15 for Bitcoin. Uh, this could be possible, especially again with the debasement of currency. So there is no telling what can happen in a land of Bitcoin. And what does that mean for your Bitcoin price prediction or how you should approach this? Well, glad you asked. I think you should head on over to Drip to BTC and start your positions on this platform. Because where else can you come over and find a marketplace? where you can buy Bitcoin at a 14% discount. Let's see if that is the highest sitting in there right now. Uh, 15%. So you're getting a 15% discount on BTC at a $60,000 price point right now. So if you take that $60,000 times 0.85, so you're basically buying it at 51K if you're buying one whole Bitcoin right now. And if you're looking at Bitcoin getting to 100K by the end of the year, you're getting a 2X on your investment, even buying it at these prices at 60K due to the power of this marketplace. So where else can you find anything like that out there? It's crazy. It's an opportunity that I think you should at least test out, not financial advice to tell you to jump on into this, but it's definitely worth testing out with a small test fee of only $50. And you will get that back in spades um, literally within like a month or two. So if you got any questions about this platform, drop them in the comments below, but it is a simple platform to get started with. You do have to have BTC already in your wallet. So you must come from somewhere like a centralized exchange or a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, marketplace to buy Bitcoin. But once you have it, this wallet here, this interface operates on the Bitcoin blockchain. So as a public wallet, you will be able to see it on the blockchain and you will be able to interact with it and start purchasing Bitcoin at huge discounts. All right, that's all I got. Smash that HBO special. I'm a brother out. Like, subscribe, comment down below and tell me what you think your Bitcoin price is at the end of 2025. Lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? 
Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real-world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.